There's a new meta in Season 4 of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and today I'm going to show you how powerful it really is. It can melt Tier 3 Zombies with ease, and you can even take this into the Dark Aether, and it's not a wonder weapon. Now, this new meta is actually the Incendiary Rounds attachment, which is available on many different guns right now. But I highly suggest that you tweak your gunsmith and tombstone if you're doing the solo tombstone duplication glitch like I am, as it will drastically affect your gaming experience. So let's go through the basics here. So first of all, I highly suggest that you take in a refined ethereum crystal as well as a legendary ether tool, which I'll go through in a second the various ways that you can. But if you already have it in your glitch tombstone, if you're doing the solo tombstone duplication glitch, that works as well. Otherwise, I highly suggest that you craft it like I'm doing so in this video or simply have a backup in your rucksack. Now, typically speaking, if you're doing the tombstone duplication glitch, then what I would suggest is always bring in a legendary ether tool as well as the refined crystal in your tombstone along with a mags of holding. That's the one thing that I don't use in this video. I use a 50 round drum as you can see instead. And instead of the jack purifier, I'm now going to pass the torch off to the incendiary rounds because this is absolutely overpowered. Now, if you don't have it unlocked, like those ones on the right, those little green tags, as you can see, that means it's an armory unlock. Make sure you click on it to activate it and then complete some challenges to unlock the incendiary rounds. It's very easy to actually unlock it. So I have all these other attachments on my gun. They don't actually matter, but I highly suggest that you max out the attachments on your gun to actually do this glitch. And then if you want to duplicate it and have it as a backup in your saved weapons, then you can do that as well. I'll leave that video in the description down below. Now, if you don't have the tool or the refined Ethereum crystal, I highly suggest that you do the Easter egg. I'll leave that full video in the description down below, but you can see how much this thing actually melts zombies in tier three. It is absolutely just ridiculous. This is definitely one of those things that is going to be nerfed at some point. I highly suggest that you take advantage of this before it gets patched. Now, I'm also gonna show you a couple of bounties real quick, kind of the full video of it, and this will only take about 30 seconds. But as you can see here, it is just absolutely so easy to solo tier three which is such a crazy thought in my mind i mean typically speaking tier three again like i was saying earlier if you don't have fully upgraded items and everything like that then you are just screwed in tier three but i'd go as far as to say is if you have a level three pack a punch weapon with incendiary rounds with the legendary ether tool applied that's all you need you literally could survive with that as well as maybe a mags of holding and just being close to an ammo depot. I mean, you have unlimited bullets. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. You can see how easy it is. Now, for Mega Abominations, I highly suggest that you shoot their heads because obviously the lit up head is always the way to go whenever you're fighting a Mega Abomination. But when it comes to like manglers and things like that, you can see here, I mean, it is just light work. I mean, so before for my, you know, unlimited essence type videos, I would always suggest tier two bounty contracts with a level three pack a punch scorcher if i were you i would completely switch that for the incendiary rounds on any weapon because if you're doing the solo tombstone duplication glitch you can easily always have what you need every single game so if you guys appreciate this video hit that like button subscribe for more and i will catch you in the next one